Welcome to Trading Lounge in the US Stocks for the 18th of August and we'll be looking at Alphabet, Netflix, NVIDIA and Organovo. So um, with Google here we can see there's it's in we're in quite a good position with this because we've come up to a level the 1500 here which is a medium level and we've had a correction here and now we're looking for further upside here we have to be mindful though wave fours can get a little bit uh, complicated and a bit ugly so we need to be mindful of that but our setup uh, currently here now is that if we look at this as an A and a B and a C here then we could squeeze five waves out of this little move here which would mean that this market would have this as an A wave, a B wave and probably a C wave coming into here and then pushing to the upside there. Um, if it's going to fail then it's just going to fail and make a larger wave 4 correction here so buying this new high here is the safest way to go so just uh, take that on board if this market does drop down into this level here then it's going to give us this little target area here to go long on so we can bring it down from that one to that one but it must drop down here first for that we must get an A and a B and a C here for for Google um, before heading to the upside and if that's the case then we'll be looking at five waves to the upside so one and two here wave three should scoot along uh, reasonably quickly as you know and then wave four and wave five moving higher here we'll just see the length of these here first we'll just get an idea of those but 1650 would be the target area for that so um, yeah look it's quite nice we've got a bit of a setup on a level we've had our correction and now we're getting our setup here so let's just see if uh, if this top gets triggered and uh, then we'll be on our way but otherwise uh, well we'll see a larger way form um, but normally corrections like to stick to the closest largest number and as you can see it hasn't really gone far from and it's sticking to it it'll, it'll need a real shift in news to uh, to, to uh, push it uh, lower at this stage. So anyway, um, nice little setup for Google there. And Netflix is next. So same with Netflix here, we've got a correction here at the 500, which is a major level. And currently we've got uh, resistance within group one here, one, two, and three, and support within group two here. <laughs> now, this move down here counts as five waves, as one and two and three and four and five here, and then this counts as a nice A, B and C to this point here. I can count five waves in this little leg here, but it doesn't mean that it's the end of it as such. So if I go to, uh, I'll just go to the tick chart, I probably got it there in some way or another. So this is the correction here and we have to look at this as one and two and three and four and five. So we've got an impulse wave here. So that means that after a correction here, we've got an A and a B and a C wave here in five waves, one, two, three, four, five for the C of B here. So it makes this wave C here a little bit short, doesn't it, compared to this whole wave A here. I have seen that before though, it's not not, not the end of it, but uh, putting this here as five waves to here and wave four completing here, that's okay, but we need to see an impulse wave to the upside. And this little move here so far, it could turn into an impulse wave. We had an impulse wave here, so an A and a B and a C. After we get an impulse wave here, we'll get another one here. So we've got those two but those two make an A and a B and a C. they make three waves up at this stage so um, if we took out the high here then that would make uh, would be pretty much on our way at that point so we could put that there in green I'm just going to put it as half a position because we're below the closest number here so it could be in it can fail from fail from that point so it this this based on this this move here if this low is taken out here 
then it makes it forces that to be three waves it's three waves at the moment but uh it's not confirmed as that it would only confirm if this low was taken out here and confirming that as three waves here with a move below this low here means that we would also see a low below this low here so in counting this in five waves, it does appear that just this is the high here. So we could look at this here as wave one here and two here, then wave one, two, three, four, and five here for the third wave. So all of this is the third wave here, I was thinking, and then the fourth and the fifth wave here. Now that could be counted differently as well here. Um, I understand that. You could probably get a wave one out of this and wave two here and a wave three here, but this is pulled back up too high for a wave four here for that. Uh, it's even pulled up too high for a wave four from that wave one and two here. So that would be a little bit of check. So from this one here, I mean, it just looks like 50% sort of thing. So, yeah, it's even above the 50 here. So, yeah, um, it certainly could be bullish at this point. Uh, you could also take this and put on this little high just here too if you wanted to. I'll let you decide that. Um, yeah, so look, there is risk here. This can get a bit bigger and uglier here. So just be mindful uh, of that. But we do have nice support sitting on group two here, 65, 72 and 80. And um, yeah, we just need to see if it can climb from this point. If Google's going to climb, well, then this is going to climb, isn't it? So if Google gets triggered first, then you can move that down into onto this one here for that. Uh, and then look to add above the 500 uh, in that case. Okay, so that's Netflix. Let's just go back to the wave four and recap that so as an a and a b and a c that works but i don't have any evidence of an impulse wave here we would have evidence if that little high there was taken out so we can put a little one in here as well um it is a little bit short compared to wave a uh, but like I mentioned, I've seen that before. We just got to now wait and see what the market, the boss says about that. Let's move to NVIDIA. So the whole semiconductor industry has, uh, you know, really powered to the upside there. And of course, um, the fundamentals for that are quite strong with no chips no chips going into uh, China. So the wave count here, I'm just looking at this as wave one and two here, five waves for this one and two here, up for three here, four here, and five here for the third wave here, ABC for the fourth wave here. And we looked at going long above this high here, so um, that's cool. You know, and it's just, I mean, hindsight is okay if you're learning things. So we know five is the second strongest number, so this would be the 500 up here. But even so here too, when you're going from this level to this level, it is the five here, the midpoint, the 450, that's going to give you the most grief. And normally that gets supported on, on, on group one, which in this case it's... Uh, well, just 10, 20, and 30, isn't it? I just call it one, two, and three. I just try to keep it simple. So that always comes up with a nice support. A lot of the time, five will meet four here and find support. But um, in this case, it was three, and three is always a great support uh, and resistance as well. So um, yeah, this is traveling quite nicely here. I can see that. I can see from here, we still have one, two, three, four, and five to finish that. So we're going to end up in 520, 530 sort of area for this. So...
So if you're a trader, and this is what the green thing is there, so we'll take a percentage at the... Let's just get this sorted out a bit. So I'm just going to put that on the level there. So we want to take a percentage off off there, right? Because there will be a reaction from that point. And then we can take the rest within group one here. Let me just check my tick chart if I've been doing that. Yes, I have. That's good. So... Look, this is probably based on wave one and two and three and four here. Let me just check this then. Just get some numbers in here. So we'll take at two there, at five, two. So just coming back to our four hour chart here. Five, two, there, just down a bit. That's close enough. And then five, three, there. I can't get it. Okay, so that's how you can milk that a little bit further in that space. And then we'll see a correction across here for this. I mean, this can just continue to move up. I'm a little bit aware of that as well. But let's just see once we get the first little reaction from here and then the little first high above the level. Let's just check on that. We'll take the money off the table then. And we'll just see how it pulls back. We'll see what. We'll have that as the reference point to go along again. Uh, if that high is breached or taken out. Um, but let's just see the correction here. There should be some profit taking uh, here now that the news has sort of settled a little bit uh, on that. We're all sort of used to that now. So we'll need something fresh to come in. Okay. Um, <coughs> Organovo is the next one we're going to be looking at. And it's dropped and it's going to drop further, unfortunately. So... I'm just going to go to the daily chart here for a moment. So from this low to this high here, then the 61.8% is at the previous low here. I thought we may have had a more of a building process here, but we're just going to get another pattern like this sitting over here. So this is going to uh, drop back into the five area and then push up again from this space uh, here. So this is more of a portfolio hold. So I see this buying opportunity down here as um, advantageous. And uh, yeah, we'll just stay with that situation here. Just go to the four hour chart. So we looked at buying across the top here where this can, we can start moving that down now to here for this but we're going to be moving down we've got a position here and we're going to look to buy again in in this space down here but don't make this a big part of a portfolio you know i mean it should just be a small part but um we're committing uh 1500 to each of these trades so um that's about as small as we can get them i guess um if that's if you're paying brokerage uh if you're not paying brokerage well then uh it kind of balances out you know if you're paying 10 or 20 dollars in in brokerage uh then uh you need to you know the, you need to make the trade size worthwhile you know so anything over a thousand makes it worthwhile at that point so this will drift lo a bit lower so in here we've got wave one and two here and this will be three here and then this will retest this for four and this will be wave five here so that would be just part of that move here that um 
It's hard to work out if that's impulsive or corrective here, but we should take this high in here. So there should be another move in here and down here for that. So uh, we'll just wait for that to play out at this point here. If we get lucky and, and it moves back up here, then that's fine. But I can't see that occurring based on this particular pattern here. So we'll be heading down to these previous lows here for that. Alrighty, um, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.